Oh hey, I didn't see you there. My name is Georgia and I'm working on my PhD here at Dalhousie University and my research aims to unlock the secret life of plants. to protect themselves against environmental stress and predators by producing these compounds. These compounds are called anthocyanins and they're found everywhere. They're responsible for the pinks, purples, and blues that we see in plants. So every time you pick up a red fruit, you're actually looking at the anthocyanins that are produced within the plant. And anthocyanins might just be plants' secret to a longer, healthier life. I study anthocyanins in the lace plant. The lace plant is a beautiful underwater plant that's only found in Madagascar. And it gets its common name from the holes that are formed within its leaves. In our lab, we use the lace plant as an emerging model organism. And today I wanted to show you some of the cool things that we do in our lab. So let's get started. So I'm about to show you one of the most important rooms in our lab, the tissue culture room. It's private to lab members only, but look what I got. So let's go take a look. So here we grow the lace plants in special culture vessels, and we do this to ensure that there's no bacterial contaminations and the plants are living a happy and healthy life. And if we look really closely, we can see those holes starting to be formed within the leaves. These holes are formed by programmed cell death. This is a process where cells are targeted for self-destruction. And programmed cell death doesn't only happen in the lace plant, it happens in you and me, because it's ingrained in the DNA of all living things. Anthocyanins are found in the young leaves when the holes are starting to form, and they use their antioxidant properties to stop death in certain cells. So in a way, anthocyanins decide which cells will live and which cells will die in the lace plant. And we can clearly see this difference between living and dying cells under the microscope. Because of the obvious anthocyanin pigment, the cells that will live are bright pink, whereas the cells that are dying lack any anthocyanin pigmentation. Eventually, all the cells without anthocyanin will self-destruct and form those beautiful holes that we see in the lace plant. My research uses advanced microscopy as well as tissue culturing in order to see how anthocyanin is produced within the lace plant and how the anthocyanin is moved within the cells. And there's over 600 different types of anthocyanin found in nature. However, the specific type of anthocyanin that's directly involved in programmed cell death in the lace plant is still unidentified. My research aims to identify the type of anthocyanin found in lace plant and see how we can harness its powers for real world problems. Things like targeting cancer cells for cell death. Or prolonging the shelf life of produce. So maybe the secret for a longer, healthier life isn't so distant for humans, and all we had to do was unlock the secret life of plants.